On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at actually a, a substantial mess here. Um, we have all the pieces that uh, we have taken from the NECA Real Toys uh, Hellraiser Series 3. These are all the pieces of the Leviathan. So what I'm going to do in the next little uh, 5, 10, 15, possibly 45 minutes of review, I'm actually going to put these all together. We're going to have a look at the Leviathan that makes up this set. And we're actually just going to cover off on the figures that also made up this wave as well. A lot going on, guys. Stick around. So we have three pieces. They're all three essentially of the same piece here um, of the Leviathan. Um, each one of these came with a figure. We also got a figure or the middle piece of the Leviathan with a button that actually works the lighting. Um, I've over opened up the compartment. I didn't close it off because I'm only going to take the batteries out anyways. Uh, but it did not come with batteries. Did not come with batteries. However, it's probably a good thing because older toys, if they leave the batteries in, I've got a couple of Simpsons Treehouse of Horror sets, unfortunately, that don't work anymore uh, because the batteries that came with them have rusted the, the, the mechanics inside. Nothing worse than that. At least, at least if anything, we've now got, uh, you know, I didn't, have to, I didn't have to worry about that rusting. I had to put the batteries in. Also as well, came with the figure display stand or the Leviathan display stand that came with the twins as well as the little uh, holder. That's going to hold the Leviathan together. So there seems to be a substantial amount of work that's going to be involved here. Uh, so what we're going to do, I've noticed uh, each one of these pieces obviously is only two pieces. We're going to need third piece to make the, the pyramid uh, configuration. Um, I can already tell you that this piece goes down here where the switch goes. That seems to make some sense if I can get it to fit. Maybe it goes in like that. There we go. So that's going to go like that. Uh, there are all these notches here. There's a notch, 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 smaller notch there, and then there is a knob, little peg, peg, smaller peg at the top. Uh, I'm basically just going to take uh, like pegs and I'm going to match them with um, the corresponding uh, peg holes or the slots. Now the problem is, I've already noticed this, the problem is the one area that has that switch is trying to make sure that I got all these pieces together. Oh, I keep triggering the lights there. Hopefully nobody has seen that. That's going to peg into place, peg into place. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these pieces that came with, I don't know, let's just say Frank. We'll just say Frank, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take one of these pieces and I'm going to make sure that I take a peg or an, a side that actually has the, the, the notches and the, the pegs on the other side and I'm going to peg those together. It's like it's kind of like craft time. Craft time with Spot. What are we building today, Spot? We're building <laughs> the symbol of hell. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. There we go that, get that, done, 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 and done. There we go, that's one side done. And you know what? We'll see if we can build the other piece together and then we'll just put those two pieces together. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We'll do the same thing. It doesn't almost feel for a second like these pieces are gonna come together and then sure enough they do. Just like so. All right. Now, because this, I assume this to be the bottom piece, the switch is right there, so the top piece will snap into place, hopefully fitting into those grooves. Now that it's enclosed, we don't really, we can't really see what it looks like inside, or if we're actually lining these up correctly. There we go. But we got, we got it snapped into place. It seems to work just fine. Let's see if we can get the switch going in there. We gotta match that, we gotta get that switch inside that little triangular piece. And do we have it? Success? Yes, no? 
Yes, yes. Woo! Oh, it didn't really come together all that well. There are some little areas that we have to kind of tweak and adjust here and there. Uh, we do have a fully built Leviathan. And uh, it looks pretty, it looks pretty, pretty cool indeed. Uh, it looks really large. <laughs> it looks really large as well. I'm still also worried that these edges are extremely sharp. But uh, there you go. You can see that there is the kind of the, the work. We've got the, the, the uh, sculpt on the sides there. And of course, the, we got the gems, the light up gems. There is a button on the side here. When you press that button, it, it illuminates this purple light. And uh, it's actually, it's, it's a pretty bright light, all things considered. We can take the display stand and see if we can get the, I don't really know how exactly this will, oh, maybe this just adjusts down. Spot's learning as he goes, there we go. And that goes like that. And we're gonna take the Leviathan, slide it into place. Make sure everything is correct and kosher. And if for some reason it's it's sitting on an angle. It's kind of like Pyramid Head, who uh, I also find very creepy. I don't know why, I just always thought Pinhead, uh, Pyramid Head was creepy. There we go. Did we get it? Pan the camera up. It's a little to the side. It could be just a weight issue. Could also be the fact that maybe I don't have the display stand in all the way. There we go. Let's try that again. Awesome. There we go. So there's the display stand, the maze of hell there. And if we pan the camera up, there is the Leviathan in all its tall splendor. We'll just turn this around again. And the light is right there if you guys can see it. Uh, all things considered, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, I don't know how well these pieces are going to hold together, but still, nonetheless, job well done. Job well done. Uh, so having a look at the figures that made up this set, we got ourselves, of course, the twins. We'll put them down there. Reaching off camera, we'll bring in Frank. There he is right there. We'll reach out and uh, pull in the... There's a the female. And finally, up in the front, there he is right there, folks. The Hell on Earth Pinhead. A really decent set. Not a, a considerably large set. Of course, the only one that's omitting from this wave, the one that I didn't review, was Dr. Chenard. Um, but a really good, solid set. The the Frank's not bad, but I think my favorites are still the, the Hell on Earth Pinhead, and as well as the twins in the back. Uh, the female is, again, a little disappointing. She could have been, I think, a little bit better. Um, but a, a really fantastic a little build uh, a build a piece uh, item, I guess, if you want to call it a Leviathan that. Uh, let me know down below, guys, what you have thought about this set and if something that either you've picked up yourself or something that you will likely uh, want to pick up after seeing these reviews. And uh, perhaps you yourself will get this right here, the Leviathan which again, Spot now knows is not the configuration from the puzzle box, but oh well. So there you go, guys. Today, well, in the series of reviews, we're having a look at the NECA Real Toys uh, Hellraiser Series 3 figures. And uh, today, we were just having a look at the, the uh, Leviathan, as well as the four figures. And there goes Frank taking a nap. All right, Frank, we're almost done. So let me know down below what you guys think. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time for another Toy Spot. See you guys next time.